Starting today, the Joffrey Ballet is celebrating the holidays with the return of Christopher Wheeldon's Chicago set, The Nutcracker. The show starts today and runs through the end of the month. Here to talk more about the show is Tony Award winning choreographer Christopher Wheeldon himself. Thank you so much for joining us, Christopher. My pleasure. And so tell us more about the show and what people can expect. Yes, yeah, so, um, so this show was uh, first created uh, six years ago now. Um, I spent a few months down here uh, with the Joffrey Ballet. The goal really to make a nutcracker that both um, captures all the elements, magical elements of a traditional nutcracker, but also setting it within the context of a moment in Chicago history uh, to really make it uh, a, a nutcracker that belongs to Chicago. Um, so we chose, uh, of course, the Great World's Fair, um, of 1893, which uh, really changed the face of the city and uh, provides the backdrop, I suppose, for this production. That's fantastic. I love that. The Nutcracker with some Chicago feel, feel to it. I love that, and I know our viewers will as well. Um, talk about what inspires you about Chicago then and, and now. Oh, goodness. I love Chicago. <laughs> um, I'm, in, I'm a New Yorker. I live in New York, originally from London. Um, uh, Chicago, for me, is... Uh, captures all the kind of me me metropolitan spirit of New York City, but um, it's just a very accessible, friendly place. Um, and the history, of course, is so rich. Um, and over the, the course of the last, you know, 12, uh, 12 or so years, um, Ashley Wheater has really turned the Joffrey Ballet into one of the major American uh, ballet companies. Uh, so it's always such a pleasure to come down here and work with these talented dancers. Yes, and we know the Joffrey is a renowned company, of course, world premier, so, like premier dance company, of course. Everybody knows about the Joffrey. Um, how does it really impact your work as a choreographer? Well, listen, I mean, these dancers are world-class, no doubt, um, but they also have a, a spirit which, um, a, a kind of a very unified sort of um, collaborative spirit, which, which I think also is something that I love about Chicago. Chicago feels like um, a city full of civic pride. Um, uh, they take great care and are very proud of their artistic institutions, of course, the Joffrey of which is one. Um, and just so there's so much support down here for, for the arts and, and, uh, and, and to be in that kind of supportive creative environment is, is really truly a joy. Talk about your research and putting this together, because if you know one thing about Chicagoans, you know, we'll call you out if it's not Chicago. So I'm sure you did a lot of research. Um, what makes this just so very Chicago? Well, listen, I think, this, I think the Chicago World's Fair setting is what is really, you know, ultimately what makes it Chicago. Um, uh, um, it's set uh, in, a, in, in a small hut on the fairground during construction. Um, an immigrant um, uh, community coming together to celebrate Christmas, the workers on the fair, people constructing the fair at that time. Um, and it takes a, you know, a very underprivileged child uh, on this magical journey where ultimately she experiences all of these wonderful treats, but also finds a father. Um, so she just, she lives, uh, her mother is a single parent. Um, so it's sort of, it's a little bit more of a socially uh, conscious nutcracker, um, no longer about a little girl with everything who dreams of more. Very nice, very nice. Well, Christopher, we're looking forward to it. We know you've put together a brilliant production and we can't wait for our viewers to see it. Tickets to see the Nutcracker start at $36 and we have a link where you can buy tickets on our website and that's abc7chicago.com. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.